Right. Okay, good morning, everyone. So today, uh, thank you for joining the WiseNet webinar today. So today we are talking about the brand new WiseNet PTG plus camera and next generation MVR. So basically both of them are the uh, new product. New product and this WiseNet uh, PTG plus is Actually, uh, this is a really whole new design and new chipset, which is Wiser 7. So kind of a uh, brand new model for us. And this next generation MVR as well. So we have been uh, developing the MVR for many years. And now we are trying to change quite many things. Same like uh, hardware design and UI and UX. And we are adding some features. So basically, quite big change for us as well. So let's look at the agenda for today. First, we are going to look at the uh, new PTG Plus camera, so what kind of lineup we have, and what is the enhanced feature, including uh, precise PTG control and target lock tracking and some water removal method. And also, we are going to uh, see the uh, easy installation features and cybersecurity powered by Wesner 7 chipset and specifications. And for the MVR, also same, we are going through the lineup introduction and some key features and what kind of AI features are included in this MVR. Okay, so first, why is that PTG Plus? We call it PTG Plus, which is a kind of a next generation PTG camera. So we added Plus, So uh, until now, we had uh, only two map, mainly two map pixel resolution for PTG camera. There was only one model which had a 4K resolution, but uh, now we have a various lineup for the 4K and six map pixel and two map pixel as well. And also uh, two map pixel, our legacy models as well. So this orange color is new PTG design and this one, this two map pixel is our legacy design model. Uh, the, the biggest change is, actually there are quite many changes, but um, we added this water to remove water and we add uh, some heater as well to the lens also for water removal. And the size has been reduced quite much. So before the PTG camera was very big and very heavy so there was quite difficulty to install them, but now uh, we have been re reduced the design and much easier and much lighter. So what key points of the this uh, PTG Plus? First, powerful performance. Uh, now we have a six megapixel and four K resolution with a maximum thirty x zoom, and also we applied some adaptive IR and we improved this preset accuracy, which is uh, only uh, 0 0.1 degree uh, difference. And also we added some AI based uh, algorithm, which is object tracking. So, but this is only for object tracking. So basically the camera will indicate person or vehicle uh, to track. And, and also the, the second new design, we have been reduced the size of the camera. And now we have only one terminal, which is RJ45 for the connection for easy and quick uh, installation. And, and for the sum number three, uh, improved the features. So precise pitch control and we uh improved the tilt angle before it was only minus five degree to the 90 degree but now we have a minus 20 so you can see more and we added some other features such like such as focus save function uh i will explain later and this camera this ptg plus models uh we applied wide than seven chipset which is our new chipset so it will give you the uh, enhanced image quality up to 4K. 
and also enhance the cybersecurity as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, uh, in detail. So first, we now have 4K 30x zoom camera. Before our legacy model had a 4K with a 20x zoom, which is quite old model. I think it's already um, already three or four years now. So now we have a new one, and it has a 30x zoom. See the video clip. So this is from the our R&D center. So with 30x zoom, you can see this much, and also this camera is 4K resolution. So even you can you can do some digital zoom more. So you will see uh, quite much detail. Uh, actually, uh, we this zoom module inside of the PTG camera is also developed by us. Uh, basically, we developed everything. So we uh, designed the lens and sensor module and chipset as well. So this PTG module is quite small. Uh, and we apply this into this camera. And for the, uh, this is the adaptive uh, IR illumination. So we have three kind of IR illumination, which will, uh, which will, will be matched to the object distance. So if, if you are looking at the further, uh, I can say, um, so uh, this adaptive IR will change. I mean, uh, for the wide view, wide angle, the first IR will be uh, written, and for the middle and for tele, uh, each different IR will be. So that means even if you see the tele view or wide view, so IR will be follow the zoom ratio. So it will still give you the clear image in the night time. And this is a preset Oculus. Uh, actually, before uh, our legacy PTG cameras had a preset Oculus wasn't that very precise. But now we uh, improved this CO for the preset. So preset Oculus will be less than 0 0.1 degree. And also uh, when, uh, when someone touched the camera, so pen tilt, is maybe uh, incorrect, then it will camera will automatically correct this pen tilt and come back to the original position. But before our conventional camera, somebody intentionally twist the camera, then it takes quite time to come back to normal position. But with the new camera, PTG Plus, it will come back to original position immediately. So, uh, in one second, actually. And also, uh, due to the uh, tens and thousands of the pen tilt moving, normally the PTG preset uh, can be can be adjusted by, uh, oh. Sorry. so uh, if you control the PTG camera many, many times, then maybe the preset could be uh, wrong even if very small, slightly uh, adjusted, but when once you zoom in, it, that difference could be bigger. So that's why we improved this preset accuracy. So even if you doing the pen tilt operation many times, it will still have a form PTG, uh, no, preset position. And this is the uh, improved auto tracking, which is uh, AI and target lock tracking. First, we applied AI algorithm to this camera. So you can have option, two options, which is uh, track the person or vehicle. And also we apply this target lock tracking, which is if the camera start to auto tracking, then uh, you just uh, the right click of the mouse on the object, then the PTG camera will follow that object permanently. So before, auto tracking was only following the object which is bigger. So if you start, uh, for example, you started to follow one person, 
but if there are some there was some interference by car or maybe other people then maybe camera missed the object and follow another one but now you can just lock the object to follow and then this ptg will follow this object only this object this is the target lock tracking and we have also this fo focus save function uh, this means uh, it can provide rapid focus for users uh, predefined area so it is possible to provide clear image without missing the target even in low light condition and for other, uh, any other situation so basically just let me show you this uh, example so you can save maximum 32 area for the uh, specific focus so this area will with you save this focus so when you go to the operating operation so even if the focus is fair but if you go that area then focus will uh, will be okay uh, right away because you have saved this focus in this area so you can save uh, up to 32 area for the focus saving and then once you control the PTG that to that area and then camera will remember the focus and then it will uh, make a focus immediately and also this uh, precise PTG control so every time when we control PTG camera sometimes uh, the sensitivity is too high so it's quite sometimes it's difficult to control like this so it's a, our conventional PTG camera so you want you just want to follow this object but uh, once you click the PTG to control but it's quite difficult to uh, detail control but now it's uh, very smooth and very easy to control PTG even in very uh, slight degree so it's much better than before. Okay. And also, our conventional model had only five degree, minus five degree, which means the camera lens can go up to only five degree. But now we change design so it can go up to the maximum minus 20 degree so even if you install the camera uh, upside down then you still can see the 20 degree more and now we have this wiper actually uh, our conventional model we didn't have this wiper so even if uh, there is raining or snowing and dust actually we couldn't do anything you can just spray water or maybe you can just swap it sweep it but now we have a wiper and heater on the lens so it is very easy to uh, get rid of water or dust uh, and then so first the wiper will be operated and then this heater will be on so the water will be removed uh, completely so we have two kind of model one with wiper and the other one without wiper so um, without wiper uh, you still have heater inside and also we will adopt some vibrating or panning and tilting to remove wiper so and remove water so it will also work like that. And about the design as uh, hardware design. So our PTG Plus camera reduced the weight by up to 65% for the dome type. Dome type is this one without wiper and 25 for the non-dome type, which is with wiper. And size has become more compact than conventional PTZ model. So this means it's very, uh, before we had a, this bigger one, this big, and weight was almost a seven kilogram. But now we have only 33.5 kilogram with dome type and 5.5 kilogram for the non-dome type. 
So also this effect to the speed of pen tilt because uh, the lightning had increased the speed of pen tilt. And this is quite big change actually. So our conventional model, maybe if you have any experience with our conventional PTG model, you will see this uh, network board. So this one for the RJ45 and this one for the power AC24 uh, voltage and also input and output port. So there are so many cables you need. But now we have only one RJ45 cable. So actually we removed everything, every um, uh, alarm input and output. I will, expa I, I will explain to the uh, next page. So now we are using HPOE power for power. So injector will be included. So only you can connect the 45 and then that's it. So if you want to use an alarm in and out and maybe audio in and out, then we also have this network IO box separately. So basically, if you want to use only PTG camera, then just install PTG camera with one uh, LAN cable, that's it. But if you need uh, some other option like uh, alarm input and relay, something like that, then you can add this network IO box. Uh, actually, we before we make this decision, we had considered very hard, and also we did some survey with our distributors and partners as well. And as a result, quite uh, just five percent of the uh, operating PTG camera used this alarm I/O. So that's why we remove this alarm input and output and if you need then you can just add this network io box and you can use it uh, this is uh, is installation with a quick mount so when you connect the ptg plus camera mount you can just simply match three points and connect and twist it for the initial connection and just you can put the LAN cable. So before uh, you had to join every cable here and you have to connect this safety cable first and then twist it. And also you have to uh, put some screw here. But now, very easy, just like that. And then you just uh, screw this, this three point and then that's it. And this camera, we uh, we applied Wizen 7 chipset, which provide this next level 6 lab security, which is data protection, and some other like a secure boot, secure firmware, secure from platform, and improve the security for the uh, private device certifi certificate root CI from HANA TechWin, and also UI cap secure by default uh, certified. And also, it applied this secure hardware, which is secure JTAG and secure UART. It's the same option with the uh, other Ryzen 7 camera. So this is the uh, specifications for the PTG Plus. This is uh, uh, with wiper model. So we have uh, three options, which is uh, 4K resolution and 6 megapixel and 2 megapixel resolution. And it will have a protection level, which is IP66 and IK10 and NEMA 4X. And all of them using high power PoE for the power, power source. And for the dome type, which is non-wiper uh, non type, we have our same uh, 4K resolution and 6 megapixel and 2 megapixel resolution. And pretty much the same, yeah. All right, actually operating temperature. I think, I don't think uh, this could be matter in Oceania reason, but uh, it said maximum temperature will be 60 degree within eight hours. That means if you're using this PTG camera under the condition of the 60 degrees in centigrade, then it will operate, uh, we guarantee for the eight hours. But the reason why is even in the uh, maybe Middle East region, which is very, very hot, but uh, we assume in a day, maybe eight hours could be enough for the on, uh, exceeding 60 degrees. I mean, uh, maybe in the nighttime, of course, it will be less than 60 degrees. So maybe in the daytime, the highest 
uh, temperature could be 60 degree during eight hours. So that's why we uh, aimed this target, target temperature. Okay, that was about the PTG plus and now about the next generation MVR. So why, why we call it next generation? Because it has been changed totally. Uh, if some of them, if you have experience with our uh, current MVR, maybe you can remember the uh, uh, how 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 to use it and good UI and UX. So to be honest, it wasn't that easy, and sometimes it's quite difficult to configure and takes more time. But now we have changed quite many things. So let's. Uh, let me introduce first uh, model naming room. So we are going to have these two different series, which is P-series MVR and X-series MVR. So P-series means, which is premium lineup, so it will have a maximum capacity and maximum performance. Uh, normally, we're going to use uh, with a 64 channel with P-series. And also X-series, we still uh, have a, uh, the X-series will be also, we will have a 64 channel and 32 channel option and 16 as well. And but uh, from the model name, you can see how uh, you can see how it means. So first letter P means P series or X series, of course. And then the R means recorder and N means net uh, network, which is network video recorder. So first two digit will uh, will be the channel number. If you this 64 means 64 channel, and if 32 means 32 channel, of course. And uh, just uh, you don't have to think about this uh, third digit and fourth as well. And also, the last one, this B4 means B means uh, hard disk bay, the quantity of hard disk bay, and four means 16 bay, which is maximum. And so you can just multiply four to this digit. And it will give you the number of the how many hard how many hard disk you can put in. So basically, both model series and X series MVR both will support AI function, but it, there will be some difference between two models. I will explain later. So first, what is the key feature, which is also a new feature of this MVR? So it will have a new UI UX version 2.0, which is totally different. And also, uh, this MVRs uh, already integrate with the PCS AI camera, which is object detection and some attribute with the forensic search. And also, only PRN, only PCS MVR will have a standalone AI function with the built-in AI engine. That means with the PCS MVR, you can use just normal camera, this non-AI camera, and you can use. AI engine inside of the MVR, so you still have an AI function. Okay, and up to 32 and 64 simultaneous playback, which means uh, this video, this MVR will support dual track recording, so high resolution recording and low resolution recording as well. So if you want to see the playback with the 32 and 64 channel, quite many actually, then it will give you the uh, low resolution playback, so it can have a six channel playback simultaneously. Also, this low resolution recording data will be used for the mobile application as well. So support up to 8K resolution because we are now have a, we now have the 32 megapixel camera, which is the TMB 9000. So that's why uh, this MVR, of course, will be, so will support 8K resolution and up to 16 SATA uh, hard disk maximum. And now we support 10 terabyte hard disk as well. And also support normal and distributed record mode. Uh, what's the difference between normal and distributed recording mode is normally, if you, for example, if you register uh, 64 cameras, then the recording duration will be same for all cameras. So, but if you want, okay, so first 10 cameras are more important than the others, then you, if maybe you want to keep 
these first 10 cameras recording data more and more. So for example, maybe first 10 camera, you need recording duration for maybe one year or something, and the others, well, maybe just one month or something. Then you can assign these first 10 cameras to specific hard disk, then that those hard disks will be only used for this first 10 camera. So this is the distributed recording. So you can assign specific camera to the specific hard drive. So that hard drive will not share with, uh, will not be sharing shared to uh, other hard disk. So only for that specific cameras. So that is the distributed recording. So what is the new UI UX? So basically the concept of the new UI, we try to make, uh, make it identical from the web viewer and local monitor. So this is uh, for the uh, local monitoring web viewer, but it's also same from the PC web browser as well. So it will be much easier to use it. And also we try to minimize the step of the configuration and also we have improved the insulin result. So mm, the main purpose of new UI UX is user convenience actually. And also we uh, added this instant viewer, which is pop-up, pop-up viewer for the quick playback. So it's more like, uh, it's, it, it doesn't look like just MVR. It looks like a kind of VMS actually. So if you see the live view, live monitor here, then if you want to check just uh, this tile playback, then you can just click this playback button and pop-up will be come up and you can see the playback. And another advantage of the new UI UX version 2.0, first we enhanced the compatibility with uh, our camera lineup. So before, uh, some PTG and some multi-sensor thermal cameras, you still can use these cameras with our current MVR, but some functionality has been limited. For example, this uh, five-channel PTG camera, multi-sensor camera, actually this camera has four fixed channel and one PTG camera. So this camera have some specific special function such like, uh, so for example, this is a fixed channel number one. So you just click here, then PTG will follow here. And also like an area zoom, you just drag here, then PTG follow this area. So that was ki this kind of a specific, special feature from this camera didn't uh, implement it to the MVR. But now you have a full functionality of every camera from WiseNet uh, you can use from this MVR as well. So also uh, thermal cameras as well. So you can use thermal camera uh, with uh, various functions with this MVR. And another big change of this MVR is easy and flexible configuration for the event rule. Uh, to be honest, before the configuration for the event rule was quite uh, complicated and quite difficult. But now it's very easy just to open the event rule uh, pop-up and then, uh, Actually, maybe it's quite difficult to explain how easy it is without any live demo and uh, that kind of thing. But anyway, uh, I hope you will have a chance to uh, play around with this MVR. Then you will feel you will definitely uh, feel it. This will be much easier than before. So anyway, you can just uh, configure event input here. So what kind of camera, which camera you will use and which event you will use. And then you also can set the event action. Okay, so motion detection from one, two, three, four, five channel, then send the email and change the change PTG preset. And so you can configure every event in and out here uh, very easily. And also this is also most important part of this MVR. So our premium Rhino, which is PRM model, will support face recognition as an AI feature, but you have to use what is the P series AI cameras because uh, this face recognition is based on face capture, which uh, provided from this P series AI camera. So first P series AI camera will capture the face of the people and send to the MVR, then MVR will do the job of the comparing with a database then uh, it will do the face recognition. 
So up to 100K faces library registration and also uh, library grouping supported. And face image can be registered from the recorded video or external USB as well. So you just, uh, uh, so, um, so you first register face into the MVR, then you can search. Uh, okay, I want to search this person, this person, and this person. And then it will give the result from the uh, recorded video. That is the how it works in the uh, face face recognition function in this MVR. Only P series actually. Only P series with P series AI camera you can use this face recognition. And also AMPR and LPR. This is also the exclusive for the PRN model. So PRN support LC, uh, LPR function same. Ah, uh, sorry. Not same actually. This one could be used with the P series AI camera or just the normal camera, not non AI P or X series cameras. So it will capture if you are using P series AI camera, then AI camera itself has this function to capture number plate and then send that number plate uh, image to the MVR and MVR will do the uh, OCR and make uh, image to the text data. But if you are using non-AI camera, then AI engine inside of the MVR will do the job. So we'll take the captured number plate, detect the number plate and capture it and make uh, text data. So anyway, so you can use uh, LPR function from this PRM model with a P series AI camera or non-AI camera. Uh, and, uh, Unfortunately, I, I think in you know, any reason it doesn't matter because uh, we are using English. So only numbers and English and Korean are uh, available. Okay. So this is basic AI feature, uh, object detection and attribute search, which is forensic search. So basically the MVR will detect the person, vehicle, face and number plate and you can make alarm with this object detection and also it will get the attribute from the this uh, object and you can use it for the forensic search it will give you the gender and cross color and having a bag or not wearing glasses or not and also for the vehicle it will give you the information about what kind of vehicle truck bus car and also color information as well and you can check some keyword or some conditions. So I want to find male with uh, no hat, with a red shirt, something like that, then it will give you the result. So this is pretty much the same as uh, our VMS uh, uh, AI search. For the AI search, I mean, uh, object detection, uh, you can use both P series and XR and also, but there are difference so if you are using PRN series, same, you can use AI camera or non-AI camera because the biggest difference between PRN and XRN is uh, AI engine inside or not. So PRN series has AI engine inside. So built-in AI engine can support AI function with non-AI camera. So that's why you can use a non-AI camera as well. But you have to check the AI engine resource when you're using non-AI camera, it's like here. So uh, you can see this, uh, how much resources you are using from the AI engine. So that means if you are using non-AI camera, that means more resource you need from the AI engine. So you cannot use full channel, like uh, for example, 64 channel or something. You cannot use 64 full channel for the AI function. But if you are using AI camera, this is AI camera, that means uh, very small amount of the resource you are using with the uh, AI camera. So in that case, if you are using 64 channel with a full AI camera, then you can have a, a full functionality with the 64 channel with the AI features. And for the XR series, only you can use with AI camera because uh, XR and MVR doesn't have this AI engine. So it need to get the metadata from the camera. So that's why you can use only AI camera for the this AI features with the XRN and VR. Okay, this is a specification for the PRN series. So basically we have a three model for at first. 
So difference between uh, this model is, uh, you can see this D means dual power. Without D, it's just only one single power. And also this 32 channel. And all of them will have a 16 bay hard disk because it's at B4. So um, actually hard, uh, hard disk capacity is up to 10 terabyte. Maybe you remember before our conventional model uh, was supporting up to six or eight terabyte. And also other manufacturers are also quite similar. If you have a big MVR with a large MVR, then maybe it can support 10 terabyte because the challenge is, challenge is the heat, heat from the hard disk. So even if you put a 10 terabyte hard disk into small MVR, then maybe it might work, but after some time, the heat will raise up so temperature will be go up, then hard disk will be uh, broken or something. So always the heat management is the challenge, but now uh, this new design, uh, you can use uh, up to 10 terabyte hard disk without any problem. So that's why uh, we improved this uh, hardware, hard disk capacity. And for the XRN series, same. So, uh, the performance are almost same. The recording bandwidth will be 400 megabps, and hard disk bay will be 16, as same. But the uh, the biggest the difference, as I said, <coughs> is the uh, AI engine. So this XRN, uh, it doesn't have an AI engine, but you can still use the AI function with AI camera. <coughs> 